Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Miami Comedy Podcast. I'm Manny Garavito, your host. Let's talk about the most common scams of Miami, starting off with crypto, the easiest one. I believe crypto became a big scam in our city because we're always looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, something that gives us the fast buck. We're hearing good things about cryptocurrency, Ooh. whether it's a pump and dump or other people getting Ponzi schemed or just straight-out scammed by somebody calling you and sounding official enough for you to give them your password. Something about cryptocurrency makes our city excited. Now, we don't necessarily want to do the work to understand the technology behind it or how to invest safely. So what we do is we try to find other people to do the work for us, and hopefully we can just make the quick buck if the person is trustworthy enough. But lo and behold, Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto is not a good investment when you leave it in other people's hands. Look at FTX, for example. They did good for a little while, they started FTX, they had an arena here in the city of Miami. And then after a few years, bam, one big scheme. And, you know, us as people that called ourselves the crypto capital of the world, we were caught with our pants down. But the only reason we do what we do is to get our pants down in the first place. So it wasn't really that embarrassing. We do what we want in Miami. So what? We got scammed. That's part of the culture. So when it comes to scamming, cryptocurrency is no different. All right, up next is probably one of the biggest scams happening in Miami is HOA fees. We're already paying high rent costs, and mortgages are through the roof right now because of interest rates or whatever, and the home prices are just, I don't even want to get into it. It's really difficult to have a place to stay in the city of Miami. Now on top, what the city is doing is they're allowing associations add a fee on top of all the already inflated rents and home prices. And that is HOA, which is home association fees, or as I like to call it, the hustle on apartment fee. Because you could pretty much just make any price up, tell anybody in that building or community that they got to pay up, and you're going to wake up every week or so with a mowed lawn or whatever. In Miami, the HOA fees is really like paying protection money. Oh, you want your grass cut? We got you covered. That's going to be an extra $100 a month. Don't want your car towed on your own driveway? That's another 50 bucks. But hey, the pool's closed for repairs let's just say we're trying to save some money on our hoa payments lawyers attorneys people that are in this industry they're really good at advertising you've seen them in the billboards you see them in bus stops and in benches they're even creating like content online where they're doing like tiktok viral videos and the reason why the attorneys of miami are so popular when it comes to advertising is because they know there's easy money to be made in our city why is it that the Miami culture is the slip and fall capital? We just love to file some sort of suing potential. Just to put it out there, every once in a while, the people of Miami jump in front of a car, even though it's doing 15 miles an hour in a school zone. Anything, anything that makes it look legit for us to make a quick buck, that is what we're all about. And the attorneys know it because when you look at the advertisers of the attorneys, they're always smiling and like doing something as if you're both in on it. They might as well say things like, did you get in an accident with an Uber driver? And then just wink on the ad. If you got a little bit of whiplash, they're going to tell you, hey, man, call me just in case. Let us look at that. Uber has deep pockets. Believe me, we can make something happen. Anything could be a slip and fall. Anything could be something to be sued on. Even if you stub your toe at a nightclub, you should at least get a free bottle for that. Make sure your attorney's on speed dial because you never know what you can get with the right representation. Another big scam happening in Miami is parking. I don't know what it is, but everywhere that's considered a popular area in the city has got paid to park. And I understand if it's a couple of bucks here and there, but some of them can go as high as $50 and there's no ballet. I've been in situations where I park my car, I look for a meter, I go one direction, I see that the meter's not there, and then when I go to the other direction to find the meter, somebody's already writing me a ticket. It's almost like these parking attendants are hiding in the bushes, waiting for you to just walk away from your car, even if it's just for a moment. It made me believe that this person was somewhere with a stopwatch, and as soon as I got out of the car, he just hit start to see when the hour was up, and then he just raced his way to give me that ticket. Parking in Miami just seems like you're paying a ransom. Like, please... Don't break into my car. Don't tow my car. Don't give me a boot. Here's some money. It's almost like in Miami, you don't pay to park. You're donating to the city. Here's some money for no reason because I'm trying to enjoy myself. And it's a fee on top of the prices we already have to pay. So whether it's a restaurant or a bar, you have to consider parking. I think all the dating hotspots in Miami are also 
part of a big, big scam. There's only like five really good places that are considered hotspots that everyone goes to. Everybody knows these particular restaurants. And even if you try to impress a date by bringing them to one of these places, I'm sure they've been there multiple times. I mean, even the waiters know them by name. And you're just one of the many guys that brought her out. And now you feel like you're just another option. I've been in situations where the waiter knew the person I was with. And they just switch up on me. They're like, oh my God, Jess, how are you? It's good to see you again. Would you like the usual? Anyway, sir, would you like to see our specials for today? We have a trout that's market price. However, we won't tell you the price until we give you the bill. When it comes to dating, it, the, the big hotspot restaurants kind of know that it's just a big game of who can spend the most on the first date. And then when the tab comes around, the waiter doesn't even give it to her. They just hand it off to you because they know you're just another guy trying to impress a girl that's very attractive. Dating in Miami when it comes to going to all these expensive restaurant hotspots is like being on an episode of The Price is Right. Let's see what he's going to order for dinner. You're just there to fund the sequel. She's been there before. <laughs> There's nothing special about them. Let's talk about yacht charters in Miami. Very popular thing to do. Why is it that yacht promoters let the women in free, but the men got to pay the bill? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they know what you want. They know why you're on a yacht. There's a lot of hot girls in Miami, and if they're already there in a very enclosed space wearing bikinis, it's a, it's a win-win, right? That's what you think. But when you pay $300 and you realize drinks aren't included, is it really worth it? How many drinks can you really drink before you realize you're seasick? I've been to a yacht party once. I realized that I was a third wheel and that all the girls there were either dating the promoters or the captain of the yacht. <laughs> This yacht party kind of felt like a pyramid scheme. Like, hey, guys, tell your guy friends to come out. We got a yacht full of ladies. The girls get in free. You got to pay for everything, though. And half the way into the yacht, you realize you're not going to get with any of them because the girls are in on the business, too. Spiritual people in Miami. You've seen them. They're just club promoters with incense. <laughs> they're always burning up sage, but they're also taking hard drugs in the middle of the night. Staying up late until the morning rises, and then they're in the beach. They haven't slept in 48 hours, but they're trying to call in the spirit guys to help them fall asleep because there's too much amphetamines in their system. <laughs> How are you doing yoga classes after coming out of Club 11? There's a lot of spiritual gurus in Miami that have manifested VIP tables by night. <laughs> and then during the daytime, they post meditation memes because they got to balance all the things they did the night before. They're drinking tea in the daytime and bottle service at night. These spiritual gurus in Miami, they crack me up. It's a very common trend. It's a, it's a very stylish and fashionable thing to do in Miami where a lot of people say that they're detoxing and cleansing their aura, but by night, they're just cleansing their liver with tequila. <laughs> that is it for today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me on this hilarious journey as we explore some of the common scams of Miami. If I missed anything, put it in the comments below. What are some common schemes and scams that you think should be on this list? And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. And I'll see you on the next video.